you know, this happens every few months. I come in and at night and in the morning and then on the air, I, um, I don't get depressed so much because I don't really get depressed. I get really freaked out. The enormity of what we're facing and the fact that I'm not making this stuff up. Like sometimes when I'm talking to mainstream reporters and they're trying to convince me I'm wrong, I'm like, it's really sexy. I mean, it's like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. It's almost like you're talking to, you know, a beautiful woman or something and you're trying to control yourself and to drift in and just kiss them. But it's like the idea, you're like hearing them, yeah, the New World Order is not real and it's not bad. It's, it, it, it's almost like a dream. You ever had something really bad happen? Family in the hospital, car wreck, something bad. You go to sleep, forget about it. You wake up happy. And then the bad thought comes back into your mind. You're like, no, 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 no. That was the dream. The bad thing was the dream. So I, I, I want this to not be true. That's why I, I've psychoanalyzed why I like being attacked by the media because I'm not a masochist. I don't like being hurt. I like being attacked because it's almost, I get the propaganda. They're like offering, it doesn't have to be real. You can go back into the matrix and, and, and even though I don't sell out spiritually or intellectually, I still kind of want to go, yeah, I can just for a moment go, yeah, I'm wrong. Yeah. See, they're almost giving me aid and comfort. Yes, Rachel Maddow, you're right. There's no weather weapons. They're not spraying aluminum dioxide on my family in the northern hemisphere. I don't have to move the southern hemisphere. I can be immoral and stay here in Austin, Texas. So I move my operations to the southern hemisphere. You're right. Nothing's wrong. You're right. The fluoride in the water is not bad. You're right. You're right. The GMO is not bad. You're right. You're right. They need to have Homeland Security training to arrest gu gun owners and veterans in mass and put us in re-education camps and use the term re-education camp. You're right. I mean, maybe the veterans need to be put in re-education camps. Maybe Mao was good. Maybe Stalin was good. I'm mean, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, maybe that's what a re-education camp is. I mean, Winston Smith at the end of 1984 is at the Chestnut Cafe drinking synthetic gin. And, you know, he used to write the propaganda. He knows they've been at war with East Asia and then not at war and then at war and then not at war. But really, they're not even at war. It's a global government. They're just rocket attacking each other's cities. It's really a war on individuals. He knows all that, but he even knows how Big Brother suddenly is going to turn this big defeat and this battle in Africa around. And then he hears it. And he even knows a month before he'd written that script getting it ready before he'd been taken in for torture, but it doesn't matter that he even wrote the fraud he's now hearing. It doesn't matter. He loves Big Brother. He loves it. I love it. I love Obama. I just had the epiphany. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. White people are bad and are racist. Turning our guns in are good. Freedom's bad. Freedom is 101 million people on food stamps and government food aid. And, 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 and Obama wants to get the country going by shutting all the big power plants down and the industry and harassing every small business into the ground and paying $21 billion to ship the jobs, uh, you, you know, the uh, General Motors of China. I mean, thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're winning. <laughs> oh, I'm just, I just realized it. I can feel like the average MSNBC viewer, like, just watching. Yeah, we're winning. We're winning. Because that's all they say on the show is, we're winning. Everybody loves it. Everybody loves it. There's no tyranny. Secret arrest is good. Torture is good. Open borders are good. Bombing Libya and Syria is good. Funding Al-Qaeda is good. Insurance companies writing Obamacare to rip you off. Written by the Republicans. It's good because Obama's beating Republicans. And it's just, I'm just, it's good. Woo, Yeah. Man, I'm starting to understand it now. It's just, it's all hitting me right now. And that's what all this is about fantasy land. The fake Republicans are in their fantasy land. Now they're on the winning team. And the Democrats are in fantasy land. And, you know, my problem is I don't live in fantasy land. And, the, and you know what? Maybe I'm going to immigrate to fantasy land. When we come back, we're going to talk about how great Obama is. All the great things he's doing for you and your family. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.